I would like to welcome you to our fifth birthday celebration. Uh, today's date is March the 17th, and we are also on St. Patrick's Day. Before we begin, I want to say again, thank you so much to each one of you for joining us. You are special to us. Sandy, would you please do the invocation? Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with love and gratitude as we celebrate the fifth anniversary of our beloved descendants of American farmers. We as Americans are so blessed by all our beloved farmers. We give thanks to your Lord for your many blessings and pray that your Holy Spirit will be with our members and all farmers now and in years to come. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sandy. We uh, are going to have no reports from our board. However, I thought you would like to hear a report from Davina, our registrar. So Davina, would you like to give us that special report that you always do? <laughs> Members total, 1,546. Wow. Wow, really well. I mean, we just had 1,500 exciting, and now 1,546. Our honored farmers, supplementals, 1,985. And wow. farmer wives, 294. It's good. It's exciting. It's exciting. And we all know that the reason we have the money is because of each one of you. You are sure. our ambassadors. You bring new members in, and that's how we keep growing. Davina, I appreciate your report. Thank you so much. Uh, this birthday celebration is going to give each one of you time to uh, talk about what you're doing and anything you want to say about farmers. I want to start with, I remember five years ago and the beginning of the National Society Descendants of American Farmers. We called it Farmers. After a small board was selected, I called one of Davina's and my dear friends, and I said, would you please join us on this venture of farming? And would you please be on the board with us? And she said, I'm so sorry, I have other obligations and I'm unable to, you know, to be on the board. She, however, said that she would be charter number one. So I would like to read a letter from her that we received today. It is my pleasure to read this from the 46th President General NSDAR and our friend, Pamela Rouse Wright. Madam President National, it is my distinct honor to bring you greetings from almost 190,000 members of the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution on the occasion of the fifth anniversary of the National Society, Descendants of American Farmers. I am delighted to be charter member number one, and I know that many of our members are also members of Farmers. We congratulate you on the stellar success of the first five years. We appreciate your leadership, dedication, and inspiration, and look forward to a grand future full of farmer smiles and scholarships. <laughs> Best wishes for the celebration. Warmest regards, Pamela Rouse Wright, 46th President General, NSDAR. Thank you, Pamela. I wish she was here. So we're going to go in and have some fun. She is, Pamela is a true friend and a sweet, well, you all know her, so I don't need to go into this. Sandy Bassett, would you like to bring greetings from the Colonial Dame 17th century? It's Colonial Daughters, 17th Century Lone Star Chapter. And I wanted to say congratulations 
from our members, and we are so thrilled for you. I just want to tell you what an honor it has been for me to serve on your board. When you called and asked me to be Historian National, I was thrilled, and then to be able to serve as Chaplain National for two terms, uh, two terms has just been a dream. But congratulations to you, congratulations to Davina and all members, and we look forward to the next five years. <laughs> yes, well, that'd be fun. Thank you, Sandy. As we go through this, if you want to bring greetings, just send me a little uh, thing in the chat. We want to hear from as many as uh, we can of you. Or a Jane, or a Jane was one of the beginning founders. Or a Jane had a phone call from me while we were sitting at a table having California pizza. And I said, OJ, come join us and be part of Farmers. And she said, yes, was a good, great beginning. And now look where you are. You're going through uh, uh, DRT now? Yes, I'm the president general elect for the Daughters Republic of Texas. Congratulations. Thank you. Would and of course, like my farmer ancestors were, they were some of the, of my ancestors for DRT. So we all, all of our societies have so much in common. We link together. Thank you. Thank you, OJ. Bill Ritchie is an advisor on my board. Would you like to bring greetings, Bill? Madam President General, I bring greetings from the District of Columbia, Sons of the American Revolution, with our cherry trees blooming, with congratulations on the celebration of Farmer's fifth anniversary. Good I boy. look forward to fun times in the future with fun and no stress. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Bill, could you tell everyone a little bit about what we're doing with My Heritage and uh, the project that you're working with with the schools? Well, briefly, uh, um, been working with uh, a couple of the uh, veterans at the Armed Forces uh, Retirement Home in Washington, D.C with the um, heritage program uh, to help them uh, work on their uh, family trees. And um, one of them, uh, she's 77 years old. And the first time we sat down and started building her trees, it just brought her to tears. And uh, so, um, you know, she's loving it. And I'm looking forward to going back up uh, in a couple of weeks uh, to continue with her and the gentleman who's retired from the Navy, uh, Mr. Baker, whom, uh, well, I've actually taken him back, I think it's about 10 generations over to Germany. So uh, while he's 94, maybe 95 years old now, uh, he is computer illiterate, but his mind is just as sharp. I mean, we bring up an address, yes, 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 yes. And that was key to uh, building uh, the uh, retreat. Um, the other aspect, uh, the second week of April, I have two farmer related presentations. Uh, the first will be at uh, a middle school, uh, a part of the uh, a consortium of Catholic schools in the District of Columbia. They're having a career day. And they probably invited me because of my former law enforcement, but I threw them a curve. I said, I will come, but I'm coming to talk about farmers. And they said, what? <laughs> so <laughs> I've actually been working on, I'm up to about 20 slides on my presentation and uh, they have a whiteboard system. So we're gonna you know, utilize that. And uh, George is going to be joining me in his green hey. if he gets his hat on time. And, um, which I think will be here in a few days. Also that week, um, I will be going to a dinner sponsored by the Prince George's County Soil Conservation District 
I went last year and I had did not have a clue as to the number of farming operations in the county where I live. And uh, so I've been invited to come back. They're not gonna even charge me for the dinner because I said I will come in with a full blown display of the uh, uh, National Society Descendants of American Farmers with handouts. So uh, they're setting up a table, you know, just for me and uh, that green jacket with all that bling is like a big magnet to these <laughs> farmers. They never seen anything like it. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that again. Thank you, Bill. Thank you for representing uh, farmers uh, so many times and so well. Thank you, thank you. Wayne Courages uh, has been a board member and is uh, currently on the scholarship committee. Wayne, would you like to bring greetings? I would like to bring greetings. Uh, Matt, uh, Madam President National. The, uh, I'd also like to bring greetings from the Texas Genealogical College. It is through, quite honestly, American Farmers and DAR that the Texas Geological College has grown into what it's growing in today. And I am very grateful for that. <laughs> we are honored uh, to give greetings on behalf of, of Texas Geological College. The pillars that we have are many, and American Farmers lines up with it. One of the things I'd like to say is how grateful I am. Last year, Janice Regal was the president of Texas Geological College, and it was through her efforts that the, the Texas Geological College gained its renewed uh, strength and foundation, and we're moving forward so well now. And I want to thank her and American Farmers for being there when the Texas Genealogical College needed us most. Thank you again, Madam President National, for allowing me this time today and our best wishes for another flourishing and successful five years. Thank you so much, Wayne. We appreciate you immensely and, uh, and congratulations on TGC and moving forward with uh, new members. We'll happy to give anyone that's on the Zoom today uh, an application. It's not just for Texas members. Patricia Thibodeau. Pat is uh, my right hand. She helps with so many different things. So Pat, are you on please, ma'am? I saw her a minute ago. Ma'am, just back from DAR State Conference here in Texas. And I have the honor to report that we have at least five new members coming into Farmers as a result of what we did at the genealogical table display at that conference. Thank you, Pat. Wasn't it fun? Uh, it was wonderful. We had the banner. We have a, a huge banner. Everybody stopped because of the tall, big banner. So <laughs> thank you, Pat. Thank you. Uh, Leslie Richards, our organizing secretary general Women's Descendants of Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company and the President of the Dutch Society. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations, Janice and Davina. You guys have done just an amazing job. These numbers are just amazing. Um, I'm so I'm so sorry I can't be more active in this group, but but I keep up. I read what I see, and I bring greetings definitely from the Ancient and Honorable Artillery the women descendants of the Ancient and Honorable Artillery Company. There's more than one group of us, and we're always looking for members, and I'm glad to hear that the Texas uh, DAR conference has taken place because we normally have a table there, and uh, we are now in the process of trying to form a new court in Georgia. But the Texas girls are out there stumping for members for us usually too, so that's a good thing. Um, and Ancient and Honorable, we have a small number of men who you can be descended from, and they were all in Massachusetts with a few in Connecticut. And so um, we're always looking for new members because there just aren't a whole lot. And I'm stuck in Missouri, where there's a whole bunch of Southern ancestry. So I'm practically the only one with Massachusetts, so it's hard. But anyway, our Dutch Colonial Society also our members bring greetings. We do um, a lot of history about the Dutch in New York and New Amsterdam. 
and the Dutch people that came here. And of course, many of those were farmers. And I know that uh, there are a number of our members. Uh, we have about 225 members. We're a small group, but um, uh, we do have, I know we have some members who belong to farmers also because we have lots of Dutch farmers. So it's great to see everybody and your smiling faces. And I just I just think these numbers are wonderful. I'm very proud to be one of the first thousand. I'm one of the bottom of the first thousand. But boy, I worked hard to not mess up and not get in that first group. I'm, I'm very proud of it. And I have some supplementals. One of these days I'm going to file. I will bring them on whenever, Leslie. I we appreciate you. We appreciate you, Leslie. Uh, Leslie you. and I have, uh, and Davina go back quite a ways with other societies. Yes. Yeah, it's good to be here with everybody. And hi to some. I see some of my good friends and Sandy Bassett. I've talked to recently, and Nancy West and I. I love talking to Nancy. I haven't talked to her in a while, so it's great to see everybody. Oh, and there's Ann Wagman too. She's she's around in some of our groups and OJ I see OJ all, all over the place. It's a it's a good group. This is a family. Yes, it is. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mary thank Webster you. Glenn has been a friend for years. Uh, we go back to another society, as uh, she is the governor of the Continental Society of Descendants of Indian Wars. And Davina and I are both members. Would you like to bring greetings, Mary? Did I lose Mary? It's on mute. Um, let me find her. Mary, I'm trying to unmute you. Hold on. There you are, Mary. Okay, now am I on? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, congratulations to, to the wonderful farmers group and your numbers, your membership numbers and all the wonderful scholarships that you give. Uh, and of course, the, the Continental Society Daughters of Indian Wars, most all of those people were here very, very early and they were all farmers that came through and, uh, and farmed the land. And I'm very proud to say that uh, my son and his cousins are the co-owners of the Glen Farm in Missouri, which has been around since 1858, and they still own it. So it's a it's a wonderful organization, and I'm so glad that you uh, have done had such a success in things. Thank you, Mary. Was well, hasn't it been fun? Five years, my goodness. Marsha Flanagan is from Illinois, and Marsha is going to bring greetings from Illinois. You took the words right out of my mouth. I bring greetings from windy Woodstock, Illinois. Uh, Nancy Gilfillan got us in a couple of years ago, and I've been looking at my farmers ever since. Uh, I'm from a line of Quakers, and they have been farmers up to my grandfather. So we've got a long line of farmers. And the other, my mother's side, were all farmers. They had a dairy farm in Wisconsin, and I spent my summers up there helping with the hay and the cows and everything else. So congratulations to Janice Sue and Davina on the awesome job that you all have done and a happy fifth celebration to all of you. Thank you. Aren't we having fun? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy Gilfill and Nancy uh, was my uh, liaison for the ambassadors. And what a joy, I believe uh, Nancy and Davina and I spoke a minimum of one or two times a day uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> to help uh, get the ambassadors off on the on the right road. And uh, Nancy, I remember many fond phone calls and, and getting things moving. So Nancy, bring greetings for us, please. Well, first of all, congratulations. And secondly, I, I will bring greetings from the Illinois Society Southern Dames of America and congratulate you from the Southern Dames because that's it's important to all of us because we all had farmers. And besides, I see a number of our members here who are also farmer members and that's terrific. So I, I congratulate you. Yes, we go way back. Um, I think I I joined like in June. I'm I'm Charter 321 of farmers, and um, 
I know that in September, I got a call from Janice Sue and we chatted and she said, would you be an Illinois ambassador? And at that time, there were like three of us, three ambassadors. And there wasn't much too much longer than that. And then, then several of us, Bev Sheely, uh, um, several of us then became sort of this little group that met. The, and we learned how to do Zoom. <laughs> that was the big thing. You know, none of us knew how to do Zoom and look at us now. But um, that was a brand new thing. And, and since it came just before COVID, isn't it wonderful that we had it? Um, but then we grew and we grew. And then you called me and asked me if I would be organizing director and, and work with the ambassadors. So I've met so many of you, never, rarely in person, but so many of you I've talked with and worked with. So I congratulate you. I'm glad you made five years. I think it's fantastic. And I think the numbers are great. It's great working with you, Janice, Sue, and Davina. Thank and you. All my and all my ambassadors. Correct. They are your ambassadors forever. Thank you, Nancy. Appreciate you. Dawn Williams is from uh, Illinois, and she's going to bring greetings from Illinois also. All right, Dawn, are you there? I am here. I just had to unmute myself. Thank you, ma'am. Um, greetings from Crystal Lake, Illinois, and congratulations on five years. You guys have done a wonderful job. Over a thousand people. That's really unheard of that fast. But um, Janice Sue and Davina, I know you have worked really, really hard. And it's been really nice seeing all the people. I mean, at Heritage Weekend, we meet some people, but just seeing online all the different people and hearing about them, that's really pretty cool, I think. So congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. Is uh, Jolie Potts, do I, did I see her? Jolie, are you here? She is the president of the Huguenot Society. If she comes in, we'll we'll step back. Kate Skalikas has uh, been with us, worked with Nancy Gill Fillin. And one day I called and I said, how about let's start Farmerettes? And, she, and, and now I'm going to leave it up to you now to talk. Thank you, Madam President National, for the honor of serving both as a, the second Georgia ambassador and as one of the three directors for Farmerettes, uh, Linda Mizell and Charlene Mullenweg worked with me. The three of us pulled together over 2,400 names of women who served during World War I and the beginning of World War II on the farms of our country while their men were off to war. So I thank those ladies for helping find the women and be able to honor them. And you can read their names on the NSDOAF website under education, Women's Land Army. We call them farmerettes because that's what they called themselves. I also bring greetings from the 88 members of farmers in Georgia and the 22 members of the Spotlight Club. We're delighted to be able to serve the society in as many ways as we can. And congratulations on the growth. Thank you, Kate. Another pleasure, pleasure always working with you and talking to you. Cindy Johnson Sakuma. Cindy uh, helps Bev Sheely, or Cindy does our constant contact. So Cindy, I saw you a couple of moments ago. I'm right here. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did you freeze, Cindy? I uh, guess uh, there she is. I think you're freezing and then unfreezing. Cindy, I'm going to jump on and then I'm going to come right back when we get you back and working. James Jeffrey is one of our newest members to the National Society, Descendants of American Farmers Board. James, I saw you earlier. Would you please bring greetings and tell a little bit about yourself? Okay, James, are you still there? Please say you are. 
oh no, we lost him. Well, hopefully he will come back. He's a, a delightful gentleman. Uh, Helen, are you currently, let me start all over again. Helen, would you please bring greetings? Thank you so much, Janice Sue. Congratulations on five years of a wonderful organization. Currently, I am not uh, in charge of anything. I, I uh, appreciate being asked. Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't have to be uh, the head of anything or, or just a member of Farmers to bring greetings. Oh, thank you. We're just friends. Renee Hamilton, would you like to uh, bring greetings? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Madam President National and Madam Registrar National, it gives me great pleasure to bring you greetings on this fifth anniversary of our society from both um, well, the speaker series chair that I am from Military Tribute, from the state of Tennessee as an ambassador for NSDOAF, but also from the 7,000 daughters of the state of Tennessee, daughters of the American Revolution. Also, um, the National Society of the Daughters of 1812, which I'm newly elected on that state board. And then uh, I will be the Tennessee Brigade Commander for uh, descendants of Washington's army at Valley Forge. I am the um, officer elect currently. So we're looking forward to that. Um, in a world really where we have so many opportunities and um, things to put our time and attention uh, into and, and our memberships into, I wanna thank everyone that has joined us in Farmers. Um, this is by far the most fun society I have ever been privileged to be a member of, and I'm pushing 40 now with the number of societies that I'm in. And I love it. And I'm here to help anyone that needs assistance in their state. If they're working on apps or anything, supplementals, I will do whatever I can to help us get the farmers on the board. And in addition, um, Everyone knows that I love to do genealogy and I love to do research. So if I can ever help you with a, a lookup of anything or tips or anything, I am so, so happy to do that. And just know that uh, yesterday I was in attendance at the actually Southern District, but it was for mostly Tennessee for the uh, Sons of the American Revolution. And I'm very, very hopeful that I have 10 more that I'm bringing in, but we'll see if they follow follow through or not, but I'm going to be hounding them for sure. And with that, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity to serve and thank you for the faith and trust that you've put into me um, to even do these jobs. I'm very appreciative. Thank you, Renee. Boy, we've done a lot, haven't we? Uh, we've been to Florida together and many, many other places to go. Bonnie Browse. Would you? Hi, hey, Bonnie. <laughs> Madam President National, I'm so glad that we've made five years. So am it, I. <laughs> congratulations, all of you, for all the work you do. And, and I come in with very little. Um, I'm trying to free up some time and get some things going. But yes, and thank you, Bill Ritchie. I don't feel nearly as guilty as I would if you weren't in Maryland. So uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, it's a real interesting thing when you bring up farmers. And I was yesterday, I was in Pennsylvania and I'm not trying to take Pennsylvania people away, um, but they were all Pennsylvania folks. And I explained to them that um, Pennsylvania is full of farmers in anybody's history that's a Pennsylvania person. So I was able to talk about Pennsylvania to the ladies of the Grand Army of the Republic and the men who were with them. We went to visit the um, National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg. So that was my day and my contribution lately to farmers. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Bonnie. How fun, how fun. Yeah. Amy, Amy Brown uh, is continually focusing on our scholarship program. And thank you, Amy, for bringing us so many, um, so many applicants, but I'm going to let you talk. Are you there, Amy? I am. Uh, greetings from Kansas. Uh, it's mainly because of Kansas State, where we have 
a huge uh, agricultural program, then I'm able to come up with those scholarships. But I'm glad they follow through because I can't do it for them. Um, I had something interesting to tell everybody. I was rummaging around in my basement trying to clean up a little bit. And one of my farmers is Robert Perry Blackford. And one of my farmer wives is Susan Voss Blackford. And they are great grandparents to me. And I found a book, a book of Psalms that was given to them on their 50th wedding anniversary and inscribed. And that was in 1897. So it's a beautiful um, book. Pleased with that. It's a beautiful book. Good find. I, I need to get an archival box, take it out of a Ziploc bag. <laughs> it's lovely. Thank you for yeah. sharing it, Amy. It's a lovely share. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I'm. Uh, is there anyone else that would like to bring greetings or say hello or tell us your experience with farmers? Now is the time. We want to hear from each one of you. All right, then I'm just going to say, Megan Rhino, how about bringing greetings, please? I'm going to catch some people off guard. Thank you very much. And again, congratulations. It's been a fantastic organization, and I'm always happy to honor my farmer ancestors. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate you. We need to get to know we're, we are a family. All of us, um, we're not just a lineage society, we're a family. So with saying that, Margaret Carr, uh, thank you for unmuting. Would you please? I've very much enjoyed this organization. Um, thank you again for letting me do my farmer wife, Matilda Eveline Wolf. I, I really appreciate that. Um, I know a lot about my family, but the more I can learn, the happier I am. And I'm also like Leslie Richards in Missouri, too. We don't live too far apart. So thank you for your five years. I am actually Charter 128. I think that's pretty good. Oh, that's <laughs> excellent. That's magnificent, Margaret. 120. We're going to go through some numbers in a few minutes. Thank you, Margaret. Donna Weaver uh, and Davina and I got to know each other when we went to 1812 uh, as organizing president and registrar for 1812 in Wyoming. And I will always say that I had uh, angels put their arms around us and help us to start the um, Wyoming 1812. So Donna, if you would like to uh, tell us about you and what you're doing and and uh, and DAR and everything else. And thank you again, Donna, for your uh, for your love and your support. Well, congratulations, five years. My gosh, I can't believe it's been that long. And look what you have done. The numbers are fantastic. Um, you have just raised this uh, organization from nothing, and I'm so proud to be a member of it. Thank you. Thank um, you. Go ahead, go ahead, my apologies. No, no, no. Um, I am really proud also of uh, my grandchildren who are going to be in uh, the ceremony in DC on the 13th, I believe of April, is, is that correct? I believe it's the 13th. Correct. And they're excited about it. My son and daughter-in-law are also, I will be there and we're really looking forward to that. Um, right now, I am um, the uh, National Chair of Development for uh, DAR, enjoying that. I love the organizations that I belong to, mainly because of the friends that you make um, and the ideals that you have, and you just share so much. Uh, Janice, your smile just never ends. I tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Your energy. Bless your heart. I, I, I'm... I'm I'm really happy for you. And I'm actually from Missouri too. And it's nice to hear people say Missouri, not Missouri. So <laughs> anyway. That's true. That's true. But let's let's go back just a second. Donna, let's tell them about uh, 
your grandchildren and what they actually going to do. That is the Thomas Jefferson. I'll let you go ahead and tell it. Uh, they are going to um, be a part of the ceremony at the Thomas Jefferson uh, birthday at Jefferson Memorial. And um, I believe they're going to bring a wreath and a flag and um, my granddaughter, oh, they're all members of, um, of the society. So I'm really proud about that. They, they uh, just moved to Bethesda. They were um, on the Hill for uh, 10, 15 years, but uh, Maddie is uh, seven years old and Henry is five. So it's going to be a, a lovely ceremony and I can't wait to see. I doubt that the cherry blossoms will still be in bloom, but um, it's going to be gorgeous, I'm sure. Yes, it will. So we have Donna's going to assist uh, with that presentation from farmers uh, and uh, her son and wife and the two children. And it's going to be magnificent. Normally, we have Bill Ritchie, who goes up with uh, DC SAR and then comes down and quickly changes jackets and becomes a farmer. Uh, instead, this year, which I applaud you, Bill, Bill is going to go uh, to a CAR luncheon. And uh, I think that's magnificent, Bill. Just mm. magnificent what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, I, uh, as you said, I've carried uh, two banners uh, at Jefferson the last couple of years. Uh, you know, we're obviously the first to uh, go up after the uh, president and uh, one of the other elected officials uh, in the District of Columbia. So everybody watch, uh, especially after the first time. Uh oh, Bill's going down the steps to put on his green jacket. But um, my uh, uh, the senior vice president, Tom Ribbon, will be representing me uh, on the 13th and um, I had to make a decision and I thought since I've done it before, it was more important to go to the uh, DC Children of American Revolution uh, state luncheon and uh, and I'm gonna be giving them a nice big check and I wanted to do it myself. Uh, so, and also kind of a sidebar, I see uh, Leslie Reynolds, I sent her a message in, in the chat. I don't know whether she's seen it yet, Leslie, have you seen it? Leslie? I, I have not. I will go look now. <sighs> okay. <right>. Very good. <laughs> uh, Helen, you're asking about what time the Jefferson Memorial starts. Bill, am I correct? It's about uh, 9 o'clock that you all line up. No, the, um, the start time is 11 o'clock. And um, uh, it's a good idea because of the challenges of parking and, and so forth to try to target uh, around 10 o'clock or so. Um, and uh, I saw Beth Hicks on here a minute ago. I don't know if she's still here, but uh, she can pretty much confirm you need to get there early and, you know, get, uh, you know, set up. Um, because uh, like I say, parking is a challenge uh, in the area. The, the year that we attended, Davina and I, it was, it was just magnificent, magnificent. Uh, Virginia Rouse, would you like to uh, bring greetings, ma'am? Thank you so much. I would like to bring greetings from Loyalists and Patriots, where I'm on the national board, as well as House of Wessex. I'm on the national board board and uh, postmasters also. I'm on the state board in Virginia for the sons and daughters of the pilgrims as registrar, uh, Southern Dames of America registrar for the state of Virginia, Huguenot Society of Virginia registrar. I would like to congratulate you on behalf of all of these organizations and we hope there's many, many more years. I am a member within the first 500. And uh, my grandmother was born on a plantation. Oh. And all of her ancestors before her were born on the plantation, except Captain Sir Edmund Bellinger, who came over in the 1600s. So, I grew up with my grandmother having chickens and a goat and goat's milk 
and my children enjoyed her and she always had a big plot of vegetables so it's all of us were right there where earth was and i've learned so much from this group i didn't know that worm poop was important <laughs> <laughs> oh, virginia <laughs> Do you remember that Zoom, Virginia? I do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was telling DAR, uh, Texas, I was telling this one woman, I said, we do Zooms. And one of them was Sir William. I said, you cannot call him Sir Willie. And then I waited a little while and, and I said, uh, Davina said, uh, it's worms. And I said, it's worm. Uh, Davina said, worm casting. I said, Davina, it's worm poop. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're selling it in Costco here. <laughs> oh, are they? Well, yes, still, I he's, saw he's it. Still, <laughs> yes, don't we oh, learn right. some, some unusual things with, with farmers? They well, are you so would cool. never have found that out, Genesu, because we were there to look at the farm. And then Genesu said, What is that metal building doing there with a generator? And the man said, The farmer said, Well, come in this tin building. And I will show you. So we went in and there were all these boxes. And he said they were full of worms. And then he also showed us the food that he feeds the worms with some kind of powdered milk with nourishment in it, extra nourishment. And um, he said that this is the best fertilizer you can ever use because you can't use too much. It will never burn your plants. So, of course, we had to buy some. <laughs> it was fun. It was lots. Intriguing. Yes. We, well, we say about tea grinds and coffee grinds because that's like candy to the worms. Is <laughs> and it? my grandson is five, loves to go in the yard with all of us. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, we go from worms to Bill Ritchie and the alien. Yes. <laughs> Do all of you remember Bill Ritchie and the alien and the education that we actually learned from Bill? Mm -hmm. This is another story. I called Bill and I said, Bill, I need you to do a Zoom presentation. And he said, I don't have time. I have this. I have that. And I said, Bill, I'm going to call it Bill Ritchie and the alien. And what did you say, Bill? Have I ever said no to you? <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> do you oh, all, tell, re, remind them what your what your Zoom was about. In a nutshell, um, <clears throat> um, after I joined and got my first farmer, I was challenged by someone whose name I will not call who said, is that all you got? And I said, what? <laughs> so I did another. Is that all you got? So I was on a mission and I ended up with 33 ancestral farmers. And uh, that's when we you know, started getting the, uh, the names, uh, the name badges. And I had an eight inch ribbon. And I said, now how am I gonna get 33 names on this eight inch ribbon. So I uh, uh, thought about it and came up with the idea of using alien tape to affix them to the green ribbon. And they are so nice and neat. And I mean, in order, I mean, I, I was proud of myself. And of <laughs> course I had to show off my uh, handiwork. And the next thing I know, I had to give a presentation on uh, the use of alien tape to uh, uh, for the uh, the name, so I don't know what I'm going to do now that I have 78 uh, supplements. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> Julie Barnes is holding up the alien tape. She's she has alien tape. Helen. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you, uh, David Boring. May I call on you, please, sir? You can call on me, and I wish you congratulations and happy five years, wonderful five years. Thank you. It's been such a good, 
good five years. All, all of you have become family, true family. Kevin, would you like to bring greetings? Sure. I'm the branch governor of Massachusetts Sons and Daughters of the Pilgrims, where I'm trying to grow the branch. And I am also alternate trustee at SAR. I am past president Vermont 1812 and some other ones, but um, I'm glad to be part of the society. I got my aunt, Joan Little from Lincoln, and as well, so I do her applications. So my aunt will be 88 tomorrow. So I'm going to do, I don't know which one yet. <laughs> she, she wants to do a lot of other things, but I'm glad that the little family is members of the society and I'm glad to be um, here with you all and enjoying the next five years. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to be getting my plane ticket for Pennsylvania. Yes, we'll we'll be there too. We'll be there too. Uh, Sue Moritz, I remember when you joined. If you don't mind unmuting, please. Yes, it's been a wonderful five years. It's good to see everyone. Um, I was just on the phone this week with the local FFA saying, hey, I need to come talk to you. And because I hadn't gotten responses before, so I'm trying it again um, about the scholarships. So they're all headed off to probably Michigan State, which is also another place I'd reached out to that didn't work. So we're working on that again. But right now I and probably my neighbor farmers are freaked out because it's a bright sunny day and it's snowing at the same uh -huh. time. Oh, oh. So go Michigan. <laughs> go Michigan. Yes. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you to all of us. We're all doing so, so well. Again, we are a family. We just keep growing and we have in excess of $250,000 in our Vanguard account that can only be used for scholarships in agriculture and farming. This, is, uh, this will set us to where if we don't get any more members, which I know you're going to keep bringing them in for us, yeah. that we will be able to give these for years to come. $94,000 has been given in scholarships to 47 students. Yes, Cindy, throughout the United States. This is a huge, huge, that what you are doing. If you have been or are an ambassador for us, please raise your electronic hand or your hand. Gotcha, Kathy. Okay. Would you like to bring greetings? Kathy? Yes. Of course. Madam President National, thank you for you, this delightful society. I'm honored to be one of the two Indiana um, ambassadors. I want to thank everyone for their efforts for membership, scholarships, and education. Um, this group just really has been a delight to get to know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Susan Davis, if you will unmute, please, ma'am. Hi, congratulations on five years. It, it really is hard to believe it's been that long. <laughs> just And just the other day, I, I was going through papers and pulled out my welcome to the society letter that had just kind of gotten buried in a pile of papers and everything it was it was really 
almost heartbreaking to see that it's been five years because I wonder where had the years gone. Isn't that true? How true. It's just blind, isn't it? Well, my time is. Did I hear somebody say something? My time is less than 10 minutes before I have to end. So I'm going to call on Carol Tatum. Carol uh, has been a friend of farmers for a long time. And Carol, would you like to say something? Nothing like catching me off guard, huh? That's, I have enjoyed, I enjoyed very much the society. Probably the most exciting was my, my great grandmother, whom I knew personally, uh, who was a widow for lots of times. She could be a member. She I did the supplemental for her. So that I thought was pretty, pretty exciting. So yes. very, very exciting. Right. Uh, Nancy West, would you like to uh, bring greetings, ma'am? Oh, hi, I'm bringing greetings from Vermont. And my part of Vermont is doing what somebody else just said. It's snowing. The ground is covered, but the sun just came out. So I'll take that little bit because last week I had to dig out to get out of my house, out of my garage, a foot out in front of the garage door twice. So I'm hoping we don't get that much snow. I hope you don't either. Anymore till for a while. And uh, I also, I belong to 18, 12, actually 12 different organizations, but our 1812 and New England Women meetings and DAR, uh, we're doing a combination um, meeting in for our, for our March, or excuse me, April meeting coming up. And uh, we have Mary Brown of Connecticut, who's going to speak about some 1812 soldier letters that she has. She's writing a presentation on it. And she's also in several organizations, uh, including Mayflower as well. So that's what's coming up with us for next month up here. We, will, we mostly don't meet for any of the organizations during the winter because it's just it's in your weather. You'd be, you'd be canceling all the time. So yes, yes, yes. We, we don't do that here. We, yes. we, we meet from March through November on most of them. So thank you so much for starting this wonderful organization and um, many more years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. All right. I have three hands up, so I'm going to call on Bill first. Oh, just right quick. Um, uh, Kevin and I were in, uh, in Louisville last week together, and I didn't know yeah, he was like, a farmer. I you. <laughs> and, um, uh, and of course, Beth Hicks, I, you know, we work together, you know, she's region of uh, the DC uh, DAR, and uh, we have so many, you know, uh, joint programs. And I didn't know she was a farmer. So uh, I guess I need to attend more meetings, huh? You're doing fine. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Debbie Hansen, let me explain to you. Debbie and Augie are the ones that create, edit, and uh, do all of the forms so magnificently uh, for Davina and I. And uh, thank you so much for all the time, effort, and everything you give uh, to farmers. And again, happy birthday yesterday, but I'll let you uh, bring greetings. Thank you. Greetings, President National from New Jersey. And uh, I'm so happy to be part of this organization. I'm charter member number 705. And I've been the New Jersey ambassador, I guess, for about three years now. And as Davina said, I'm the... Uh, person responsible for managing all of the forms. And I've also been the editor for the last two and final two cookbooks. <laughs> um, and it's a wonderful organization to be a part of. And I'm so grateful for the friendships that I've made. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Uh, Beth, may I please call on you? Sure, I did have my hand up to say hello to everyone. Um, Beth Hicks, I'm calling from McLean, Virginia. Um, I'm just delighted to be a, a new member, a relatively new member, about a year and a half. Uh, and when I first heard about farmers from um, DCDAR, 
ladies. I thought, gosh, you know, my genealogy, I know I'm descended from Michigan former, and I'd love to uh, honor him. And I'm delighted, uh, wonderful five years, wonderful growth, and I'm really excited about the scholarships. Uh, that's a wonderful amount to, to offer. So glad to be part of this wonderful group. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. And soon we will have gone over 100,000 in donations after the next one. So it's not going to be many weeks. Uh, Lee, may I please call on you? President National, I bring greetings from the five of us in Montana, and thank you for all you've done. Thank you, Lee. You are you are marvelous. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank you, thank you. Nancy, I'm going to come back to you. You had your hand up for a while. Was it my mistake? Yeah, you had asked us, anyone who'd been an ambassador, and you, so I guess. That's it down. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, 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 you're fine. So now we're going to, since I have just a few moments, we're going to play a game. So all of your hands are going to go up on this one. Are you member number one, five, four, six, or below? Everybody's hands should go up. Okay. If you are member one, five, four, Oh, and below, leave your hands up. One, five, two, five. One, five, one, five. One, five, oh, oh. Wow. One, four, five, oh. One, four hundred. Thirteen hundred. Wow. 1200, 1150, 1100, 1000, 900, 800, 700, 600, oh my gosh, 500. 400. Wow. 300. <laughs> 200. Wow. If you were one of the first 100 members, please leave your hand up. First 100. Oh, my heavens. All right. Wayne, what is your member number? I'm not finished yet. Wayne, what is your member number? You know, I was just thinking I need to go look on the wall. I think it's 525, but okay. I'm not sure. Or Jane, what is your member number? Founder 11. Uh, Theo, your member number? Mrs. Goodnight. Margaret Carr, do you know your member number? 128. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Look at this. All right. Anybody 75 and under? Or Jane, Margaret, and Theora? I can't get my hand to go away. It's okay. I'll take it down. Okay. Got it. I'm using my regular hand. Okay. Mary Glenn, what is your member number? Founder 24. 24. Okay. I am too. Wow. I'm I'm using my regular hand and I'm number 58. Okay, I apologize. I didn't see it. Okay. 58. Oh my goodness, all of you. And Julie Barnes, thank you so much for helping me. Thank you. Thank you. Each one of you, my goodness. So now, or Jane, I know how you found out about farmers. So Mrs. Goodnight, how did you find out about farmers? From uh, Sue Moritz. Wow. And Sue, how did you find out about farmers? 
I got a call directly from you inviting me and my husband to join. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is true. That is true, true. Uh, Wayne, how did you find out about farmers? For me, it's very special because I was at a cemetery uh, loading up uh, rocks into my pickup truck. And I got a phone call from Janice Sue. And Janice Sue was wanting me to, to get involved with, with uh, American farmers. And uh, as with all of y'all, I can't say no to her, even the first time she called me. And so I became very involved with American farmers and I've not regretted a day. Thank you so much and happy five years. You made it wonderful. Thank you, Wayne. And Mary Glenn? You called me. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. I did. I will always say this. I thank God for farmers. I thank God for this society, for all the good that it does. And Davina, thank you so much for wanting to do this society. Mm -hmm. No one else would, no one else wanted to honor the American farmer. You know, and one of the um, comments that we would get was that, oh, I don't want to belong because everybody has an American farmer. And to us, that is the best part about it because all of our sweet ancestors were the hardworking, wonderful, smart people who made America. They kept moving and traveling and making new farms making food for themselves, and then of course for us. And our American farmers are vital, and it's such a warm-hearted feeling knowing that we are giving them recognition and honoring them. It's true, Davina, it's so true. And it's only because of you, each one of you members, that we have $250,000 in the bank because of your 250 or $300, each member has contributed so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to, yes, Debbie. Yes, Debbie. Debbie, would you like to say something? I Larson, so. Debbie Larson. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Debbie Larson. Okay, Debbie Larson. Going once, going twice. Oh, mm -hmm. Is she back on? All right. If there's anyone else that would like to bring greetings, say hello, say goodbye, or anything, please raise your hand now. All right. Again, thank Renee, you. Renee, Genesee, Renee. I don't see. Okay, Renee Hamilton, please. Yes, ma'am. Just, I just want to remind everyone, please don't forget, uh, we try to use Thursdays as our green Thursday. So please don the green and um, either post it in the society's Facebook page. You can post it on response to any of my posts that I put up, but we really do um, have fun with um, getting the word out about farmers. And thank you to everyone who does join in with me. Kevin, you're always consistent with joining that and Red Friday. So um, join with me. Bill Ritchie, I see you too. Pat, I mean, we have our standard crew that always jumps in, but I would love to see everyone just throw some green on and take a picture and send it to us because we like to get the word out. Thank you. I'm going to ask Julie Barnes. She always says uh, what's in her heart about farmers. Well, congratulations everybody on a job well done for five years. Farmers will always be close to my heart because when I wanted to join this society, I have I have gone on my mother's uh, coattails my entire, every society. But she said, you have to do this one on your own. And Yanisu and Davina, uh, are very patient and very kind because I don't have the gift that many of you have. So farmers will always be very, very close to my heart. Um, also, I was able to honor my dad's side because uh, he had a lot of farmers as well as my mom, but she really likes to look at her side. <laughs> so with that being said, 
I, I also want to bring greetings from the National Board of the National Society, Daughters of the Union, 1861 to 1865, and to congratulate you all on a wonderful job well done. Thank you for letting me be a part of this amazing society. I look at so many of you and I have been in awe of so many of you for so many years as I have joined the different societies. I've seen you do amazing work. Your hearts are amazing. So God bless you all. And thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Kathy. Would you like to bring greetings, ma'am? Kathy Kessinger. Um, again, I just want to say thank you for all of your efforts for our society. It really is an amazing group and just want to say thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Ann Wegeman. Hold on. Uh, I was going to try and unmute you, but it doesn't. Thank, I, I think I got it. Did I unmute myself? You yes. did. Thank you. Anne. I am out. I am outside. Um, Perfect. Beautiful day to be out. Yes, it is a gorgeous day in sunny um, kind of southeast coast of Florida. Uh, perfect temperature can't complain and just thank you this has been absolutely lovely and the organization is phenomenal and madam president national you've done a great job i looked my number up i've got c73 oh my goodness um <laughs> and i will have been a member for five years this coming friday which or thursday excuse me thursday the 21st of march oh um so it's good, kind of good, exciting good. And just thank you all for everything you've done. It's fun and educational. Um, love it. Thank you. It is fun and it is educational. We we have some Zooms planned to come on. All right. Uh, one minute, Sandy, and I'll ask you for the benediction. But I want to remind everyone, we did a Zoom last month on Valor Honey. If you did not get a chance to see Valor Honey, please check it on our website. We have also implemented having master gardeners uh, as a, um, a part of your membership. So we want to know if you're a master gardener. And our director of master gardeners is Jan Pickrell. Jan, would you like to say something? And she has a phenomenal brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we have not met him yet. No, I noticed that. I was looking for him to see if he was on here. I so much want to congratulate, but also thank you so much for creating this organization because I have so thoroughly enjoyed not only these these very happy greeting um, Zooms, but also the little webinars that we've been having. Already in Northern Virginia, like Virginia said, everything's bursting out in bloom everywhere. And I was in the garden earlier um, this afternoon before getting on this call. Um, I hope to see several of you at the Virginia DAR state meeting later this week. And there's also gonna be a Virginia organizing um, chapter meeting for Daughters of the Union. Nice. And my nice. brother, yes, I had to get him involved. Otherwise he'll commit me to doing more things without my knowledge and then... <laughs> I'm I'm planning to get him in trouble soon. <laughs> oh, fine. We are we are making that happen. Uh, Doris Sweeney is a, a cousin of ours, and if you would like to say something, please. And we met her through farmers. Doris, you want to bring greetings? All right. Thank you so much. There we are. Um, hi, everyone. It has been a wild five years, wonderful organization. And as Ann said, the weather is beautiful in sunny Florida for the moment. Happy St. Patty's Day. Wish you happy hunting. Thank you, Doris. Yes, happy hunting. Get more supplementals. <laughs> <laughs> We know those challenges. Yes, we challenge everyone for more supplementals. 
Thank you so much. I've spent more than my hour. I, uh, I thank you, our fifth birthday. Sandy Bassett, please. Dear Lord, we thank thee for the past five years and the privilege of fulfilling the objectives of the National Society Descendants of American Farmers. We are grateful for the fellowship that sustains us as we devote ourselves to the daily work of this great organization. We ask your blessings on all here today who represent our bright future. May all that we accomplish be to your honor and glory as we continue to help farmers ensure a better future for this great country. In your most holy name we pray, amen. Amen. Davina, would you give a toast please? To our, to our dear members for making this society flourish, thrive, and grow. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Here, here. Happy five. Thank you all. Happy five. Appreciate each and every one of you, but fun. Thank you for uh, taking the time, each one of you, uh, for having visited.